<laughs> How you doing? Uh, David and Art here. And uh, first of all, you can see that the NVIDIA software is recording, and that will not go away. So I'm, I'm, showing a, I'm solving one problem and creating another. Welcome to my world. So jumping right into it. Yesterday, uh, in part of the video that I made uh, about the Cindy... Oh, look at there. It disappeared. Uh, about the Cindy car.drive game. Uh, I was out on the map editor and I was changing the scale of buildings. And I had mentioned that I wished BeamNG would let you scale things. And I, I completely misspoke and I was called out on it. And I'm the first to admit when I make a mistake and that I will rectify that. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to jump into the world editor, press F 11 to get into the world editor. And then uh, once I'm in the world editor, if I click on an object like a building, uh, you'll notice that I get the glowing brick, the glowing box around it. And right now up at the top, I've got the translate key, which means I can move it up and down or sideways or, you know, whatever I need to do. And I have really messed where that goes, but that's okay. Cause <laughs> we're about to really mess with it. Okay. So one of the things that I, demonstrated in that other game was that it has a translate key or I mean a scale key. So I can in BeamNG at the top of the world editor, I can go to scale and you'll notice that those arrows now turn into blocks and I can scale the building so I can make it bigger, wider. Oh, well I missed. And I can make it I don't know, longer, deeper, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> this is starting to not sound like a very family-friendly video. All right, anyway, I can change the scale of the objects in BeamNG. So you may be saying, okay, Dave, well, you said you couldn't, so what's up with that? And I'll tell you what's up with that. In my head, I was specifically thinking vehicles because when you click on a vehicle, you cannot change the scale of of the vehicle. Actually, that is the spawn point of the vehicle. That's really, okay, so here's the vehicle. So notice that I don't even get the blocks, right? I can't, I can't change the vehicle's size. It does not let me rescale a vehicle. So, you know, you can see, and if I try to click somewhere, I've now selected like half the things on the ground. So again, if I click the vehicle, right, and I just have over on the left-hand side the player, which is kind of hard to see because it's at the bottom, uh, but I cannot scale. My scaling options are turned off, disabled, whatever you want to call it. I'm assuming because vehicles are so complex that you just can't scale a vehicle. But again, if I click this building, I can absolutely scale the building. We can squish it. We can make it longer, bigger whatever we want to do with it. Okay. So I just wanted to come in real quick and say, yes, you can scale objects in B in beam and G drive. Uh, they're going to look ridiculous, but you can do it all you want to. As a matter of fact, let's say we just, whoop, there we go. Stretch that bad boy out. And now we see that the door is no longer ground level. Well, we can't have that. We can't, we can't have a non-ground level door on a building that's been stretched to high heavens. Okay, that, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So, yes, you can change the scale of objects, of certain objects, in BeamNG Drive, but, in, uh, but some objects you cannot. So I'm curious, can I change the scale of these? Can I scale you? No. Nope. Yes, I can. There we go. There we go. And just to move these out here. Listen, come come with me. There we go. There you are. There's the river. Again, I can switch this over to the scale key. And we can stretch these tubes out. Which is actually kind of cool in a way. Like, if... Uh, you got to be careful. Are they on the ground? No, they are not. So if I put them on the ground, now I'll be honest, I have no idea off the top of my head how big these are. So let's jump out here. Let's switch back to our car. Where did I even do that? Um, I'm so confused. I'm so lost. 
I'm so lost without you. I knew you were right. Uh, seriously, where did I do Look, I wasn't that far away. Oh, I was. I was a little further than I thought. Okay, fine. My whole purpose here is to see if I can drive through these now. Oh, I can. Uh, okay, I could if I wasn't an idiot. But, oh, actually, I don't know that I can. That appears to have a, uh, hmm, that appears to have an invisible wall attached to it. Let's see what happens if we just go full force. Now, there's an invisible wall. Ah, well, that's disappointing. In any case, my point is you can, you can move stuff. I mean, you can scale stuff. You absolutely can. So, jump into the world editor. Use the scale tool to your heart's content. And you, too, can be building monstrosities like me. And thank you so much to High Def, who... Help me clarify my statement and uh, help me get an understanding as to exactly what I was trying to say and what I was talking about. Can I, can I scale the tree? I want a big tree. Our tree in the, oh, okay. So I can't, I can't select the specific tree. Um, and I don't know where the scale tool, oh, there's the scale tool. I mean, there's the marker for the forest. So what's going to happen here is if I come over to where I can actually see this. If I were to raise this up, um, well, I thought that was gonna raise all the, all the forest. That's interesting. Perhaps this is, scale it up. No, scale it this way. No, we're not scaling. Oh, I mean, it is scaling, but it doesn't seem to be affecting anything. Is our, is our, did our tree go? I have no idea where the tree went. I don't even know where that tree was. Wait, is that? Wait a minute. No. So I don't know what that's affecting. I'm sure it's, a, I'm, I'm sure. I'm Mario all of a sudden. Uh, I'm sure that's affecting things. I just don't know what it's affecting. So there you go. In, in any case, that's how you can scale and move stuff in BeamNG. Once again, we have backgrounds oh my that's 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 big I, I would keep the scaling to a minimum like like make it just just be careful when you find an object and you click on that object and you want to scale it just just be careful all right use it with caution now we got lots of lots of seats well not really lots of seats they're just bigger seats anyway got anything else you want to learn <laughs> Good luck to you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Problems, suggestions, horror stories, all that fun stuff. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Girl, and Los Wilco for supporting the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I taught you something. Oh, by the way, before I go, um, if you quit, like for example, if I were to go up here and now try to load a different map, it should ask me if I want to save changes. Oh, it automatically, oh, that, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> I think I just, <clears throat> oh, wrong, wrong button. I, I think I just uh, automatically saved everything I just did. When I did this last time, uh, it asked me if I wanted to save the level and I said no, because I didn't want to save the changes. Um, this time it didn't ask me, oh, and it did not save the changes. Whoo, thank you. So if you did want to save, if you did want the changes saved though, in World Editor, uh, after you make a change to an object, if you did want to save that, then you'll want to click on the save icon up here, which I am not going to do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to undo that and we're just going to quit this whole thing right here because I'm about to mess some stuff up. So there you go. I'm David in Ark. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Ooh, the big radio. I'm just clicking stuff. I'm more interested to know if like you're still here. I feel like Ferris Bueller. What what are you still doing here? It's it's over. It's go home. It's oh, can I drive like this? I mean, oh.
Oh, I'm in free camp. I'm such a doof. <laughs> this is why they pay the big bucks. This is why they pay me the big bucks at work, because here, I'm an idiot. No, I'm pretty much an idiot at work, too. But you know what? I've been around long enough. They just keep letting me do my thing. And that is the secret to life, boys and girls. Just keep doing your thing. Whatever your thing is, keep doing it. Don't worry about what people think, what they say. It doesn't matter. Just keep doing your thing. You'll be okay. Life lessons from David and <gasps> Ark. Man. 